Hello and welcome to the seventh part of the Waterlust Sailing Canoe Building Series. Do you need something? Let's build it! Last time we attached the back to the boat. Um, so today I'm going to trim the edge of the deck so it's flush with the hull and then I'm going to flip over the boat and prep the underside ready for painting. So behind me I already got my belt sander so I'm going to trim the edges along here flush with the hull as you can see it's sometimes more sometimes less. Got quite a bit of overhang yet front just going to Send it away. I am full of dust but the edges of the boat are all smooth and finished. Um, so before I flip it over I actually decided to also fill in the holes that were necessary for the screws to, to pull the deck down with thickened epoxy. Um, quickly going to mix some epoxy, fill them up, um, maybe coming back this evening or tomorrow to sand them and then I'm going to flip the boat over to do the bottom. Hello there, it's been quite a while since I last worked on the boat. It's been cold outside so I couldn't work with the epoxy but I'm happy to be back. I flipped the boat over so I can start working on the underside. So project will be for now to sand everything, clean these joiners, fill up these gaps completely and then add um, a layer of fiberglass. So the main part will again be sanding, sanding and even more sanding.
quite a heavy work if you do it by hand. But everything sanded, looking good. Going to clean it a little bit up and then it's actually ready to fill in the last gaps like these. Before the fiberglass I have to uh, sew out the, the daggerboard case slot so you can fit the daggerboard into that and the movement drive slot. Yeah. I actually was at the boat in Düsseldorf in Germany some weeks ago and spoke with the guy from Hubi. They invited me to come over to their local like store where you also can test the Hubi drives. So I'm waiting for the spring to come, a little bit warmer. Going to try out the different systems they have, like the reverse and the, the, the little bit more expensive but better system. Have a look which one fits better and then yeah, hopefully get one for a waterless sailing canoe. So I'm going to cut or drill the index hole for the daggerboard casing. There you have the little hole. Going to take my new little toy I got <laughs> actually for Christmas. Fill the flush right a bit on there. Got my little hole like I've got over here in the boat. Underneath there, remember, is the daggerboard case. It's looking like that from underneath. And this little bearing there is going to go against the daggerboard casing inside. So the, the piece that cuts itself cannot go further than the daggerboard piece. So in theory, if everything goes well, you only cut out exactly where your daggerboard casing is. But I don't want to screw the daggerboard casing, so in case something goes wrong, I'm gonna screw this thing. I'm going to go along this side here with the bearing, and in theory it should be a nice and straight line. Well, that was quite easy. Perfect. Nice. Then, time to do it on the boat. That thing is amazing. Love it. Look at that. Perfect. Almost. Nice. Just sanded the entire boat again, just the little places I filled with epoxy last time, sanded over them quickly again. So the entire boat is sanded, cleaned and ready to put fiberglass on top of it. So the boat is fiberglassed. I actually just put over the fiberglass, epoxied it and then right away crimped the edge. So now it's sitting like exactly on this little yeah, groove that was there. Looks alright. Uh, I filled this beforehand with thickened epoxy. Some air bubbles but I think I can fill them up later. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wait until this is like half cured, a little bit sticky. Then I'm going to trim the excess. And yeah, that's it. Oh, I also glued together the mast parts and the, like the main mast, main boom and main vang. Or the other hand around. Just had some epoxy left over, so I thought why waste it? 
when I can use it. Good, good. Going to eat something now. battery I sanded the entire boat so the entire hull and uh, the deck and I rounded the edge between panel and deck with a router bit sanded everything so this is almost ready for the top layer of fiberglass I only have to drill out the mast steps already filled the little little holes going to drill them out bigger use the flush router bit, take them out, and then I'm actually ready to fiberglass this thing. See leftovers in there from gluing. Of course, the rudder bit will stuck over the epoxy and then leave these caps, but I will just have to hand sand them. It's not a big issue. Off the side of the boat. So, as I did on the inside, just going to lay the fiberglass over it, cut it somewhere around here, let it dry until it's a little bit sticky, and then gonna trim it right at this edge, and then take away the tape and the excess fiberglass with it. Worked pretty well on the inside, so I'll do it here the same way. What I'm also gonna do is to tape up the inside here from underneath so when I lay the fiberglass over it and the epoxy um, so that the epoxy cannot rip inside of the already painted boat. Uh, I also am gonna leave the dust inside here because if some epoxy drips into it it's much much easier to remove it when it sticks to the dust instead of like to the painted wood. But I'm gonna just cover it with some paper or something anyways and the mast steps as well. If you know a trick to do something like this, except climbing into the boat and probably breaking everything, please let me know. Because this here is just a mess. But I think like this no epoxy should be able to get down there. So 
I taped up the inside, just like a little, little bit like this, so the epoxy cannot drip into there. I'm gonna trim the fiberglass exactly at the, at the edge, um, so that should be fine. So now I actually could add fiberglass, but it's freaking cold outside, so I worry that the epoxy doesn't get hard. So I'll have to wait until it gets a little bit warmer again. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and leave a comment if you have something to say about the boat, tips, critics, questions, whatever. And see you next weekend. Bye bye.